Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I want to talk about how to differentiate exponential functions where you need to use the product rule. So let's have a look. If I want you to differentiate y equals, let's say we have one function, let's say x squared multiplied by another function, let's say e to the power of, let's say, negative 2x. Okay, so you would realize that this is a product of two functions because I have this first part which is a function and the second part which is also another function. So let's say the first part is f and the second part is g. y equals f times g. Okay, so using the product rule we have y dash equals f times g dash plus g times f dash so that is the product rule and we're going to do that on this function so we have f is equal f is equal to x squared now we're going to differentiate this first function x squared differentiates into 2x now let's do the same thing with g g equals e to the power of negative 2x and g dash, which is the derivative, is equal to, so you're going to copy this down because that's how you differentiate exponential function. And then you're going to differentiate the power, which becomes negative 2, and you're going to multiply it at the front. So the answer is just negative 2e negative 2x. Okay, so now let's substitute all of those terms into the formula. So I have x squared times negative 2e negative 2x plus g is e to the power of negative 2x times 2x. Simplifying that, I have negative 2x squared e negative 2x plus 2x e to the power of negative 2x and you can see both of these terms have e to the power of negative 2x and they both have x and they both have a 2 they both have a 2 so let's take those things out and put them at the front so I have 2x e negative 2x now what does this term have to multiply by to give you negative 2x squared e to the power of 2x it has to multiply by negative x plus um, well this is pretty similar to that so plus 1 so that is the final answer now normally you wouldn't put a negative at the front so you can rewrite it as 1 minus x like that okay so we are now going to try another one just so you guys get a bit more practice so let's try y equals um, x squared times e to the power of cosine x okay so I'll let you guys have a go at that and come back when you're done okay so I have y equals f times g where f equals x squared and g equals e to the power of cosine x you're going to differentiate each one, so f dash equals 2x, g dash equals, now cosine x differentiates into negative sine x, um, e cosine x. So copy that original function down. Okay, so if you don't know how I did that, please have a look at my previous tutorial on differentiating um, composite functions with exponential functions okay so let's now substitute those into my quote uh, product rule formula so f times g dash 
plus g times f dash, put them into that formula, x squared times negative sine x e cosine x plus e to the power of cosine x times <clears throat> 2x. Simplifying all of that, I then have negative x squared sine x times e cosine x plus 2x to the uh, 2x times e cosine x and I'm going to simplify it a bit so I'm going to um, point out the common factors they both have x so move x to the front they both have e cosine x so let's move them to the front I'm just going to circle them so it's a bit clearer to you guys so they both have an x they both have e cosine x so that's why I'm moving this to the front and then the rest is negative x sine x plus 2. Okay, now you would rewrite it so that inside the bracket I have 2 minus x sine x just to make it neater. Thank you.